It's a story you'll only see on Fox 5. A landmark restaurant in Estelle was ripped apart by flames. Tonight, the owner and workers came together to pray with hopes of rebuilding what they describe as a staple to so many. News Edge reporter Alexa Leacol joins us live from Dolly's Farmhouse Restaurant with details. Alexa. Well, Carrie, Dolly's Farmhouse Restaurant has been open since 1983, but tonight, this closed sign is what you see on the door. Tonight, the owners invited their employees as well as members of the community to come together to pray that one day they'll be able to reopen the place that was loved by so many. And people will know when they come and go that the great God of glory had a hand in putting this thing back together again. Yes, employees, customers, and friends joined the owners of Dolly's Farmhouse Restaurant on Sunday to pray. But everybody around here loves this place. They really do, and so do I. This restaurant has been a staple in Austell for 35 years. But days ago, a fire ripped the family-owned diner apart. I get up in the morning at, at a quarter to five still, and get ready for work, you know, and there's no place to go. but couple of months we're going to be back and it's going to be better than ever. Our customers are family as well. I mean, uh, we, we cater to them just as if they were our mothers and fathers, grandfathers, and they're, gonna, they're a big part of our family too, and we all miss them as they miss us. Damage is this way. Owner Tony Ashcraft walked us through what's left of the restaurant he dreamed of owning for years. This was my kitchen, and I say was. As you can see up, it burned all the way through the roof. From what I'm told, there was fire shooting out of exhaust fan I have on the left wall over here in the corner. Ashcraft says he grew up eating here and will not stop raising money until Dolly's reopens. Yeah, the fire department had to cut a lot of holes in the roof in here, but it don't matter. We're going to get a whole new roof out of it. I've been a chef for 35 years, but I've never owned a restaurant until now, but I always have wanted to. And I was afforded the opportunity three years ago, and it's heartbreaking now that it's not here, but I know that's only temporary. We'll have this big old grand reopening. Yes, we will. Yes, so. yes, we will. Anyway, thank y'all again. Thank y'all again. And because Dolly's is so well loved in the community, the owner tells us that surrounding businesses have offered all of his employees temporary work until they can reopen Dolly's after it's rebuilt. And if you'd like to get involved and help out get Dolly ba Dolly's back open again, just check out our website. We've got more information on fox5atlanta.com. Live in Austell, Alexa Liaco, Fox 5 News. Great spirits there.